Well, certainly, uh, you know, proud of, of the way the guys handled the whole week. And uh, anytime you get a chance to play a game and uh, and earn the right to, to win, you know, you, you appreciate that. And you're grateful for all the work that goes into it. And, um, you know, I thought one thing that hit me today watching it was, you know, there's a lot of guys that uh, get it going and allow others to, you know, we were able to play a lot of guys, and that happens because, you know, you had a group take care in a business and, and give them the opportunity to play, and uh, and that's always good. You know, every every first rep for a guy or or added reps are are huge, and uh, and that part was good. Paul, after I think it was your your third offensive series, Bostad made a little change. Went to a different look on the right side and stuck with that for a long time. I know you haven't looked at the tape. What, what do you think those two guys gave you? Because it, it appeared that they helped solidify some things and also spark the offense. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, we were fortunate that kind of with what uh, Bort was able to they could play, you know, and, and, and kind of the same thought with with Trey, you know, kind of get them in and, and, and how can we get them, uh, get, them, get them some reps and wanted to do it early. Uh, you know, kind of was truly warmed up and and going, and, and so that was uh, that was really good for us to be able to get done. And I, and and I thought, like you said, don't know the film, but it, it was energizing having them in there. Was, was that the plan going into the game, or was it an in-game thing like we need to make a play? No, I mean we were hoping, you know, kind of see how warm-ups went, and uh, board felt good, and uh, and you know we knew we could get some snaps out of them, and so we wanted to. Want to get that going, Paul? How valuable was a performance like this to remedy some of the issues that popped up last week, in particular, because you're going to be playing Ohio State next week? Yeah, I think that. Uh, I mean, certainly every experience you go through, you, you hope to learn from. But I think I also think every bit is today is today, you know, and and uh, and we're going to be facing different teams, and certainly facing a different team next week and the week after, you, you know, so I think that uh, it's good to, you know, the response, you know, last week, that part I was, uh, I was pleased with, you know, and then it's all about, you know, you get a chance to play the game and I thought guys were ready and, and came out and played, um, but you just got to keep, keep going and keep trying to grow. Paul, it's been kind of a theme for the first three weeks here, getting a bunch of receivers involved. And with the depth that you have at that position, just how much better do you think it makes your offense when you have that many guys you can rotate in and out and they can all make plays like they are? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 always good. And I think the one thing that, that Graham's been doing a good job of is is trying to just take what's there. And, and certainly a lot of guys are uh, putting themselves in position. And, um, you know, when, when the ball gets spread around, it, it, I think it's always healthy. Paul, well, when did you guys know that you're going to have to go with Lom and um, Van Zelst? And I know it's just one game, but how do you think they handled what you needed them to do today? Yeah, um, you know, it was uh, Thursday slash Friday that we kind of, okay, this is what it's going to be. And I thought they both handled it well, you know, and, and you appreciate that. Paul, after uh, Chez's touchdown, it looked like you pulled him off to the side. You kind of had a good moment with him and was talking to him uh, maybe about the play or, or just that moment. So I'm curious to know what that conversation was like. Well, you saw what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you say, I guess, uh, or if you want to share with us? No, I don't. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm not trying to be. Paul, Paul, as you make the transition now from non conference to conference, do you? I'm sure, you're, like, the record was different after last week. But do you like what you've seen so far to your team? And, and do you feel like you're prepared heading into Big Ten play? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, you're – do I appreciate what guys have, are putting out there? Yeah. You know, and, and I would hope and want to believe that there's lessons that we experienced in the first three games that if we can truly learn from them uh, – what things allowed us to be successful, you know, and, and build on that and, and things that make it harder, right? And, and, and the truth is time will tell, right? Do we, do we truly learn those lessons? Um, but I appreciate the way that they've gone through it, 
but we've got a, you know, we have certainly not arrived. That said about not arriving, do you have a feel that your your passing game overall, from what the quarterback's doing, the guys getting open, the execution is is in better shape maybe than it wasn't at certain times last year, just overall? Uh, I hadn't kind of thought that way. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's times when it's it's looked like what it should look like. Um, and so that part, I think there, it, it, there's moments when it looks like it sh looks like what it should look like. Paul, same kind of thing. Pass protection has been kind of a strength of the team so far these first three weeks. What do you think this line's maybe done in that area in the first three weeks or throughout camp maybe that you've seen that that's why they're succeeding, picking up blitzes and stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, we weren't good on the first third down tonight or this afternoon. Um, yeah, I think certainly, you know, the guys work at it and take pride. And, and I think that, uh, you know, it takes everyone on it. You know, I think that uh, Graham has been doing a good job of, of getting the ball out. And uh, it helps when there's guys open and, you know, as competition gets tougher, you know, you'd be challenged more. But, uh, you know, to win games, we're going to have to be able to run the ball and we're going to have to be able to throw it. And, and I think you know, we got to keep keep going. This one's right down here. Wheelhouse, the, the red pants today. What? How did that come to be? And what, who, who decided that? And did you fight it at all? Or <laughs> You know enough to ask it that way. <laughs> you know what? Uh, we got we got some guys, and, and I feel good with this. They're in charge of it, and I don't care as long as they play well. See, Paul, with uh, the defense, and it looks like the seven interceptions by, I believe, seven different players. What does that, to you, what does that say about the defense and ability for not just a couple of players to create takeaways in that manner? Well, I think it's, uh, I mean, they're obviously they're big plays, and it's, uh, it's been fun to see. You know, I thought Rico's was a heck of a pick today. And, uh, you know, Mooma's was a, you know, that was impressive. Uh, Jake, everyone's excited about that one. You know, we had a, Jay had one uh, opportunity at one, you know, um, guys value it and they know, and I think our coaches do a great job of putting them in position and kind of coaching them to where, uh, to trust it and go for it. And so, uh, Takeaways are huge, you know, and you take them in any fashion. But it's been fun to see a number of guys getting them. Take one more for Coach. Well, you often say it takes everybody. And uh, how much more gratifying or fun is it in a game like this where you can get pretty much everybody that you want to play into the game at some point? Well, I think it's certainly meaningful, you know, and, and you see it when – and you feel it on the sideline. You know, there's a – uh, there's a lot of guys that, that put in a ton of work and not all get to play in the games. And so when there are those opportunities, um, there truly is an energy, you know, particularly on the sideline, you know, when, when guys make plays. And I know it's probably at the end of the game and, and to many it seems meaningless, but, you know, Amon made a nice tackle and there was an excitement right there. You know, people were fired up about, you know, Jake's pick and, and you know, to get to see Julius go and, and for Isaac to get, you know, Isaac's been playing in the early in the games, but just, you know, anytime you, you go and, and and had a lot of guys and a number of guys that, um, you know, are during the week are on the scout team and, and they're playing, you know, a couple of those guys on defense and you just, that, that's, uh, we all know how much they put into it and, and I, and I know, and and you talk to our guys, they'll always value those first snaps or when the first time that they um, make a tackle or, or get a completion or uh, whatever that may be, right? It's uh, it's real to them. And so that part, you that's why I appreciate what everyone did to give those guys that opportunity.